Come on, I right. mean, being able to work with Nas, though, I mean, what was it like getting in there with Nas? I enjoyed working with Nas, man. Talk Straight, to me. crazy, super intelligent lyricist. Mm -hmm. uh, man, we had uh, crazy conversation on everything from, you know, from health. Yeah. To, to space, to UFOs, <laughs> all that shit. You know, Nas, yeah, he, he one of them guys got a lot of knowledge, you yeah. know what I mean? And he'll say the same about me. Um, it was incredible working with him and just seeing that he still wants it, you know what I mean? Because mm. he got a few things popping right now as yeah. far as, you know, his investments, you that know, with ring. the ring camera. Yeah. <laughs> and I heard that just <laughs> Boom! Took a, heard that shit went to a whole nother level. Exactly. But to see a cat like Nas still wants to get out and make albums, being as successful with his other businesses yeah. outside of music, that says a lot about him yeah. and uh, the love for it. You know, I love to see, you know, um, why you think Jay Z ain't releasing nothing right now? What you think? He just too busy? What you think? I think that the Jigga man has so much big business going on, and you know what? What makes me mad about Jigga and Jay Z is that I would love to hear what he has to say because he. When I went back and I was listening to some of my Jay Z the other day, I mm -hmm. realized that I enjoyed listening to Jay Z talk about progression. Yes, man. And what he was going with his life and as moving that money business. around, and moving that money around. Yeah, and man. Like hearing Jay Z I like talk about that. Yeah, I love and that. And I think there's still space out there for him to talk about that. And I think the game needs that. Man, my I just whole think thing is, as long as you are living and living life and doing things, it's, that's why, like, like when you know, with Dre three thousand, like, come on, bro. Yeah, we we like we like the flute album. That's dope. But bro, you got some shit to rap about and some shit to talk about. It's a lot. Why do you feel like Three Racks feels like he just refuses to want to rap anymore? At one point, I think he was feeling like, how would he fit in amongst what's out here? Uh, and that's that mind state of kind of why shit starts sounding like, producers start sounding like, and rappers start sounding and taking each other's style is because they're trying to fit in. Well, if it, it's kind of got to sound like Lil Baby in order for Like, I done had a lot of demos that people done let me play. I'm be like, yo, man, he sound like Lil Baby. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, tell him to turn the auto two down. Let me exactly. hear his real voice. Yeah. You know? And then when I hear it, I'm like, okay, he's still delivering like Lil Baby. Well, man, you know, he, he a fan of it. Well, tell him to do something Tell him to be different. his own damn man. Tell him to be his own man when he go into that booth. Exactly. And just stop singing in them same melodies like, dude. Like, exactly. you're not going to go but so far sounding like somebody else. So, it's like... When you're in that mind state of feeling feeling like in order to be accepted, you got to kind of sound like somebody, mm. that'll make you feel like, how can I fit in? Which I had to let do. No, I'm like, man, you're a fucking innovator. Exactly. You will set the trend. If you come in with just whatever you're doing. Exactly. Don't have to, don't worry about that. Nas didn't think about that. Exactly. Jay Z, Jay -Z, Jay -Z don't try to figure out how that. he could fit exactly. in. Exactly. J. Cole, don't worry about yeah, how Killer you can Mike fit in. Killer Mike came out sounding like Killer Mike. Sounding like Killer Mike. He didn't try to fit in or Come make on. no or feature no cats who are out here on the charts. Yeah. So you just got to do your thing, man.